13 sets. Today we have the new Clone Troopers vs. Troidicus set. It's set number 75000, ages 6 to 12. Basically this is one of the new battle packs, except they don't call it a battle pack, they just call it Clone Troopers vs. Troidicus. It's obviously based on episode 2, not the Clone Wars, because of the design of the helmets and they're on Geonosis. So, although they do fight on Geonosis on the Clone Wars, I'm pretty sure this is for episode 2, because of the pers the characters. So, if we just get onto the box, then get onto the minifigures, then instruction book, which I forgot in the last review, and then the set itself. A little box, it's quite small, so you can easily walk around with it if you really want to walk around with it. So, on the front you have the two toy dickers firing at the two guys. Now the clue, two clone troopers, the age, the num set number, and the name. Yoda at the top, your little clone trooper, some information in loads of different languages. Here you have all the specifications of it, so what you can do with it. Battle scenes you can do, and destroy dickers firing their guns. If you want to cut, cut that out, I don't know. But you can if you want, if you're using scissors, parental guidance is advised. So, that's it for the box really. So here we have the instruction books. When they come in these little sets, they're always folded. So you have this massive crease in the middle, so it's quite annoying. There's a set number, that's it really on this set. You also have these weird things now in all the instruction manuals of some guy opening it, thinking, oh my god, there's Lego. Then he puts them all in order, then he creates something. Shows you how to assemble. Sorry about that. It also shows you about how to assemble clones, so like a transformation or your instructions. At the back then, you have the sets coming out. So they have included the box feeder, or I forgot the other one now, there's another one not on there. The Hoff battle, that's it. All the people, except from the Sparks feeder and the Hoff battle. And this code if you want to use it, if you really want to use it. That is, I'm not going to use I don't even know what it's for. Then it's pieces and that. So that's the instruction book. It basically is the same kind of... They are the same specifications as the one from the Clone Wars set, but completely different in many ways. So, if I just show you the basic... And that... And that's, no, I can't think of it. Okay, here we have the helmet. Obviously the Clone Trooper one from the... Um, Clone Wars, but what they've done, they've made the mouth bigger and the visor smaller. And they've also put grey bits there. They used to be in the Clone Clone Wars sets, but these are much more nicely printed on here. So, they also have the little holes for your antennas, floodlights, aerials, what you call them. And also they have these heads. They're much more like the um, Clone Wars ones, or that went from Attack of the Clone Styles Episode 2. Because... In the Clone Wars, they're like animated, so they're easy to put on Lego. But these ones are much more harder, they're real people, so... I like how they've done the effort, like they put like... Like, marks there, like, to make them look more angry. It's so clever what they've done to it, really. I have to say, it's a good job. So, on the torso, it's like one of the Phase 2 cloners you would get in um, one of the older sets, like from 2008, when, like, the old Turbo Tank or the old AGRT. It's mostly like that sort of kind of chest plate, except it's this kind of same breast plate, but the belt is completely different. So, on the back then, it also has those two markings. I just should have pointed them out before. On the back is completely new design. These are like the Phase 2 clones now, from the normal sets we have. So, like, from Captain Rex, I think it's the same kind of back as him. I'll just check. No, it's completely different, actually. It's more rounded where those grey parts are underneath it, where the back bit is. He also has this oxygen tank with little marks on it, which is quite a lot of detail they put into this figure, just for a clone troop, I mean. But they obviously want to get their sales up. So, they obviously want people to buy more of their sets, so they have. They made them better. They've also, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but this black mark at the top, it 
like much more better than the other ones if you look at it. It looks like someone's painted art looks 3D. It's really good. From episode 2 if you've seen it, you'll probably most definitely recognise this guy. And I have to say this guy is gorgeous, literally. What they've done on the visor, if you can see, it's a silver tint. It is actual silver. With the green outlines obviously. Going up halfway the helmet. Nothing on the back of it, which is just fine. But the greenness is just that nice kind of olive green. You haven't just gone on paint, just chosen green and whatnot. There is a nice green they've also put these little vents at the bottom which are quite interesting as it's not on the or it is on the other clone trooper but they well, they stand out more on this guy, not the other one so much. Okay. On the breastplate you obviously it's the same one as the ordinary clone trooper, except he has one, two, three, four little dots, green dots. Obviously represent he's a sergeant. So he's obviously got more power, he's not just a legion trooper, as in a legion trooper, and he's just painted green as he belongs to a region, so he's just a private. It's showing that he's a sergeant of a normal clone trooper, like this old fella. On the back, if we turn him around, you, it's obviously the same back as the ordinary clone trooper, but it's just much more nicer. This one, I mean, they it's just a nice green. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just nice. They obviously have the same helmet as the other clone trooper. And the binoculars are the... Oh, well, he has these binoculars, so you, can't, you try to put them up like that. They don't work. So, if you twist his hand around, maybe this might work. That works. So he can look... He has to take his helmet off, so he's more as to damage... I know it does work a little bit, except it just doesn't look right. That's what it looks like. Okay, the worst thing is I don't like is that it didn't actually come with any antennas, so it's quite bizarre. Like usually with back in the day when you have the ordinary clone trimmers on the clone walls, they come with loads of antennas. I have like a whole box full of them. This has got so many. I haven't actually got a box, but... Okay, never mind that. Now, I've never had a droid cut before, but I have seen reviews and stop motions with these guys in. And this is a nice design, it's quite small. They always keep to the same design Lego, three legs, little thing underneath. But they always change the front view and the guns. Oh, now it's just not working properly. But the guns, they're quite a nice design, they look like one of those old style Mexican street fights like with the things but the mistake they've made is that these things look like their eyes those little lever things and actually it's a red one so it looks more like a fly so it's got a nice design though has as the way it curls around that's always important but if you put too much pressure on it it can just go like that and if you like it's quite a hard one to do this is because if you put too much pressure on it just collapses in itself but you want to play with it because it's such a great f thing really so I wonder if we can roll it must be able to somehow because that's what they're supposed to do no you just have to slide them like that <laughs> so that's it for the joy to go really let's go on to the set this is the main set there's nothing special about it just this little kind of command center with your kind of standard control panel. So nothing great about that. So if we get this Mr. Clone Trooper, he's basically the one who sits in there because he's a commander. And he just commands everyone what to do. Like your typical commander. Okay, so he goes in there. Now I'm not sure all these things on here are supposed to be like doors to close. Or they're, they're like kind of wings so we can glide along and they're like wings for some reason. It's also got quite useful pieces so in the future if you're trying to make a mock this is see a nice one just to tear apart as you have all these round edges, this little flag type thing, these technicish pieces like to fold up and down. So it's quite a nice one to use. Also this thing on the back 
I'm not entirely sure how you use it, but I think it's just a flick fire missile, which you basically just pull up by there and just flick. Which is, I don't get this really, because whenever you're going to flick it, you're just going to kill him. So it's just pointless really. So you just like flick it, and it just kills him if it ever wants to work. So, put this arm back there. So it's quite a nice design on that set. So you can make it in whatever shape or form you like. You can have it looking like that, so it looks more like a boat. Or you can go for the original, looking like a command center with the aerial. So that's it for this set, really. Um, the droidicas, I really looked at them. So for this set, I would buy it just for twelve pounds. So these are what the ten, the ten pound mark sets are. They're not actually ten pounds, but. The cheap pocket money set ones. Basically, it looks like you're going to get good figures, but not so good sets. So, it's going to be a bit of a downfall for Lego. So, it's basically just a figure pack. So, for this set, I would rate it a good mark, about 4 out of 10. No, 4 out of 5 even. Because of the people in it, everything's new. Except for the legs on these guys. The helmet's new, what the printing is on it. And that's it really. I would definitely recommend you going out and buying it. If you want to, that is. I'm not saying go out now and buy it. Because I'm not a dictator. Okay, that is it for today. Um, Thank you. Please comment. Rate.